Yeah, Harbour Arch is uh, an ambitious project for um, the AMDIC group. It's been a long time in the making. It uh, constitutes 200,000 square metres of bulk. Um, that ultimately conveys itself into six towers. Currently we're building tower number one and we've got 432 apartments in, in there some retail space and some, um, some parking, structured parking and basement parking. The AMDA group are very proud to be uh, promoting Harbour Arch. Uh, it's, a, it's a very large real estate development, certainly the largest in the city centre for quite some years, possibly since the v waterfront was conceptualised over 30 years ago. It's a real um, real statement by the AMDEC group that we believe in the city of Cape Town, that we believe in the province of the Western Cape and frankly that we believe in the long-term future of South Africa. That we have a, an unacceptably high level of unemployment which leads to the inevitable uh, inequalities and social injustice. I mean what we really need to be focused on as big business is making sure that we create as many work opportunities as we possibly can. The AMDA group's very fortunate through projects like Harbour Arch that we're able to create large numbers of jobs in a single project. And we're going to be having a very strong focus on trying to help uh, new black owned businesses who operate in the real estate industry to be given opportunities on small-scale subcontract work that they can uh, subcontract to our main building contractor WBHO and we'll be promoting actively with our partnership with WBHO that they look to bring on black owned businesses and give them opportunities to create uh, work for themselves and to empower themselves and to you know have a transformation of, uh, of skills and to try and empower those uh, young businesses to uh, build themselves up as the AMDEC group has done over 30 years. Well, it's absolutely essential that big business and government, whatever level of government it may be, work together and find partnership opportunities to enhance our economy, to grow our economy, create employment opportunities, create great places of residence for people to live close to work and close to the city. And I'm very proud to say that AMDEC Group at Harbour Arch have um, redesigned our building to accommodate for affordable housing. There'll now be approximately 100 affordable housing apartments in the first phase of Harbour Arch. The economy needs investment and the economy needs hope. And uh, so, of course, with this, this investment being announced sort of as we were coming out of lockdowns and everybody was sort of negative and suddenly you see, uh, you know, AMDEC, being, being bold in this space, uh, you know, investing a big investment into the region. I think if you're looking at it from an investment and, and, and trade perspective, those are things that we're going, elements that we're going to see later. Um, the important part for us is the job creation. Um, and if we're looking at it over um, the lifetime, or the, you know, the physical lifetime of the development phase of this project, um, we're creating in excess of 20,000 20, jobs. Um, and that for us is, is, is critical. That then systemically creates opportunities within the tourism sector, within the hotel sector as well. Um, you know, and, 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 and it just adds to the fact that there are, there are businesses that are still willing to put their name to, you know, name to, to a trade. And of course it becomes a flagship uh, investment into a city like Cape Town. Um, it's sort of, the, these are becoming the catalyst type uh, investments that start to change um, how a bottom part of town operates and so you know, it's going to be exciting for me. I mean these, that, these are really exciting times for, for a developing city and, and I think this AMDEC uh, investment is going to definitely influence further and future development into the region. The important thing to note is that we're on program and that we uh, have not fallen behind and the construction now is a good year in. The what we call the concrete shell, which is the, 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 the bare bones of the, um, the project, that will finish in approximately a year's time, in April, May of 2022. And then the project itself comes to an end in 2023, May of 2023, when we ultimately hand over our residential units to, to hopefully some delighted 
investors. You know, a project of this magnitude, a project like Harbour Arch, um, you know, the significance and the role that it plays within attracting investment into the province um, is critical to a role that we play within Westcrow. Um, you know, it shows that the, 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 the city is open for business. Um, so, yeah, we've, we're very proud of what we're doing. We think uh, Harbour Arch, in the fullness of time when it's completed, will become an iconic piece of real estate for the city and we think Cape Townians will grow to love it.